everybody, welcome back to Sagan Life. Today we are gonna do a comparison on 55 gallon drum pump kits. So if you have a 55 gallon drum in your garage full of water, uh, no idea how you're going to get it out, or if you happen to own one of these, you see that this is the Water Basics Emergency Pump and Filter Kit. this to the Sagan Aquadrum um, water filter and pump kit. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we did was test the Water Basics emergency filter and pump kit. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I had a few problems initially. Um, I'm gonna show you everything. In the end, we had a better result than what we had initially thought, but we had quite a few problems with it. First of all, the tube, tubing, came off into my drum and I had to fish it out with uh, a coat hanger and a pair of kitchen tongs. There's really nothing I can say here. It kind of speaks for itself. Just be super careful when you are putting the tubing on the underside of the cap. Make sure that it's twisted on extremely tightly and maybe keep a coat hanger and a pair of kitchen tongs in your emergency kit. Uh, the second problem we had was that it initially exploded. Here you can see what I'm talking about in this video clip here. Um, we were, my, co my associate and I were trying to get it to work and it exploded. So I put together the Water Basics kit following the directions on the packaging. I was pretty sure I had it right, but I couldn't get the water flowing. So I called my associate to come and help me. At this point, I didn't realize that I had left the camera on. So you will see a lot of my back, but you'll get the gist of what's happening. I had started by taking the pump off just so he could check and make sure that I had gotten all the components together correctly. All looked good, so we're ready to give it another try. As you can see, he's going to try pumping the same way that I did, but to no avail. Then, all of a sudden, the whole front portion of the pump and filter blew off. So we spent the next several minutes trying to figure out how to put the pump and filter back together again. There are no instructions that come with the kit that tell how to do this, and so we just did the best that we could. We did end up putting a piece in upside down, which is the reason that I ended up getting so soaked trying to use it and why it was almost impossible to use. But the whole filter, as you can see, did blow apart. And we were a little perplexed as to how to get it back together again. Unfortunately, we had the same thing happen again. Once we got it put back together, put the filter on and started pumping, the whole front of the filter kit blew apart. And so when we put it back together, the way that we thought we needed to put it back together, we initially got it wrong. So that is why I, I first got so soaked with the um, Water Basics filter kit. So here I am trying to use the Water Basics pump with the piece put in backwards, and of course it doesn't work well at all. The whole thing pretty much did come completely apart and is put together with cheap parts, grease, and a flimsy gasket, which did come off. So I was really struggling here and did end up getting fairly soaked. This is definitely not a position that you want to be in with your 55 gallon drum. And that would be the little piece of gasket that we lost. 
As you can see, the parts of the pump are slipping and sliding and not staying put together, so you almost have to grasp it and hold it together with your hands to get it to pump. We did try to give it our best shot. As you can see by the end of the filming, I was completely soaked. So we decided to retry it, and these are our results. What we did today, I'm gonna to show you. We took it apart, put it back together again, and put one of the pieces in. Um, it almost looks like it's on backwards, but this is actually the way that it needs to go to work properly, and it does work quite a bit better but still, initially, when we had it put together first off, it did explode. It completely fell apart. But in order to be fair and balanced, we did put it back together again, and it's working much better now. So let me show you how to put it together correctly. Okay, so when the filter burst apart, this piece came off. And that's the piece that's held on with the gasket. And what we initially did, um, What we initially did was we took this piece and placed it on like that um, and because that just seemed obvious but we tried today and put it on this way and this is how it was able to work much better so if yours should come apart the concave part goes in so hopefully you can see that this makes the filter work a little bit better but still, um, I mean, I'm kind of covered with uh, gooey grease and stuff from whatever it is that they use to put this filter together. So, um, I, you know, I, I can't say a lot of good things about it, but we did get it to work and I wanted to let you know that. So here I have the filter and pump properly put back together again. And as you can see, you, did, you do get a fairly good stream of water. Um, I'm just shooting it out the door. Um, this does still come off the gasket. We lost the gasket. And like I said, there are just a few flaws. I don't, I don't think that's supposed to come apart either. But, but you do get a fairly good stream of water. So let me show you the Aquadrum filter system. An easy way to get water out of your 55 gallon drum. It includes the cap with a tubing which attaches underneath so the filter drops down into the drum. Screw on the cap and then you'll attach the tubing with the spigot. It has a quick connect so it just snaps on. I had already attached the hand pump so now you're good to go. The drum must be pressurized in order to work. That's why the hand pump comes in so handy. Squeeze the hand pump repeatedly to create some pressure inside the drum. Then simply slide open the open shut valve on the flow spigot. You'll see the water flows quickly from the drum. The Aquadrum filter system provides about six cups of clean drinking water every minute. Since the water inside your 55 gallon drum is not heavily contaminated to begin with, the water filter and pump kit will purify the water of about five 55 gallon drums. That's about 275 gallons of fresh, clean drinking water. Okay, so let's see how this water tastes. That's pretty darn good. That is absolutely delicious. And I have no idea how long the water has been in this drum, but the Aqua Drum filter kit has safely removed all the bacteria, virus, cryptosporidium, giardia, any other toxins that might be floating around in there. It's a very effective filter. And as you can see, it's super easy to use and very dependable. Um, we did not have a good experience with the Water Basics filter. And um, I was basically soaked when I was done using it. We want to give it a fair, fair shake. So what we're doing is we are sending back the one that kind of exploded on us yesterday and we are ordering a new one. And as soon as we get that, we will shoot another video and see if, um, see if we get a better result. If any of you have the Water Basics filter, I would recommend getting it out and trying it just to be on the safe side. There were a few parts that were um, pretty, um, I don't want to use, 
they, they were pretty shoddily put together. And so you want to make sure in case of an emergency that you're safe, that you are able to utilize this water. So get it out and try it. Shoot a video, post a video on it, and let us know what your experience is. Please subscribe to our channel, Sagan Life. We have a lot of great information, a lot of great water filters and water filtration products that have been tested and proven until their end of life. We have tested and tested and tested and tested until they absolutely quit working. So we can tell you without a doubt how effective they are and for how long. If you have other water filters, make sure that you can see those results. Make sure that they'll post them and show them to you because that's absolutely key. Um, you deserve to see that information about the water filter product that you're using. So in the meantime, cheers. I hope you all have a good week and thanks for joining me again for this video. I'm April and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much.